When I was a teenager in the late 1990s, music was easily downloadable, but good music was pretty hard to find. I ended up becoming part of an online music sharing community <laughs> and ended up with a file called 05rsmoriendi.mp3. And I remember the first time I listened to it, I just thought, this is total insanity. <laughs> It sounded like a band that was from somewhere in the Middle East playing like circus, wedding, cartoon, disco music. <laughs> I, I really had never heard anything like it before. So after some investigation, I ended up finding out that it was actually an American band from the San Francisco area called Mr. Bungle. And Ars Moriendi was the fifth track on their third and final album called California. Now, this album was super cool. And when I got it on, on CD, I just put it in my Sony Discman and brought it to school every day, listening to it for several weeks straight. I couldn't get enough of it. It had cool artwork with like California surf art and uh, lots of flowers and I just thought it was really interesting. I just fell in love with it. It was total pop insanity. I ended up liking it so much that I bought the previous Mr. Bungle album called Disco Volante. And that album is nothing like <laughs> California. I mean, it is like antagonistic. It is hard to listen to. It opens with this horrible dirge of a song called Everyone I Went to High School With Is Dead. It's just such a miserable listening experience. It sounds like a terrible garage band recording in a refrigerator box. The rest of the album is this sort of stream of consciousness, highly layered, erratic barrage of doo-wop, bebop, metal, techno, Looney Tunes, Screamy, Dreamy, Surfy, Bring back the pain. Punk, Ska, Noise Rock, Experiment. that really is quite musical and sprinkled with some interesting lyrics in English. My mom is better than your mom and your dad too. Italian. Dai, che vuoi fidarti solo di me, non si crederanno mai. And gibberish. One of the songs in gibberish is called Mamishka Mausquaz. <laughs> 
Disco Volante offers a listening experience that makes you ask two questions. First, how on earth did a major label like Warner Brothers Records approve and release this album? It's really just shocking that that happened. And then secondly, why am I still listening to this album? It is intentionally antagonistic. It's frustrating to listen to at times. Uh, I remember just wanting to turn it off, but you know, you power your way through it, you try to understand it. Um, and it's like the band is trying to frustrate itself and the listener. I didn't get to play on it at all. No way. But on the other hand, what I absolutely love about the album is the completely uninhibited, uncontained creativity. The album is a work of art. It truly is a work of art. And if you like albums that make a statement, then this is a great one to have in your collection. So if you haven't heard it, I'd encourage you to set aside about 70 minutes, just listen straight through, and give it a chance. You might not regret it, but you probably will. <laughs> but after a few listens, I think you'll end up loving it as much as I do. Uh, if you know this album, if you love this album, if you have any thoughts on it, please leave a comment, let us know. I'd love to have a discussion about it. And let us know if you end up checking it out as a result of the video. Thanks a lot. Oh, <laughs> <laughs>